Okay. I know address quickly a question someone asked me today. He asked me, Mitch, in agriculture, do you, do you really need to be a team of people to really uh, achieve and go far in this business? So I'm going to give my answers to this question I was asked today. And I would say, this is a yes and no question. The answer would be a yes and no answer. Yes, in terms of if you're going to do it as a collective, as a family, for example, a family unit, let's say a family unit of friends, or friends or siblings, it, it, is, it is necessary. If you are a group of two or three, then you guys all uh, independently um, assist with each and every person's uh, fields of expertise. Let's say now in this uh, three sibling unit, there's one who studied agriculture, who has the agricultural knowledge from studying it, has a PhD or has a degree. There's one who has the experience of working with livestock for years. There's maybe the third one has the uh, medical knowledge. He's worked with animals for a very long time. So in that situation, the three, the three, the three, one, two, three, three siblings, that can work. As long as each and every one of them has a clear cut, has a clear cut uh, uh, mandate of what he or she has to do. That can work because non, nobody's overstepping anyone's lines. The one who has the agricultural knowledge, the book smarts, his expertise is on the knowledge of how to impart it to his brother. The one who has the experience of working with his livestock or his or her brother, the one who has the knowledge of working with, with cattle, is experienced in working with cattle or, or livestock or, or horticulture or planting carrots or planting grapes, that's his field of expertise. He's the one who does the physical work. And the third one who's maybe the medical the medical wizard in this in this in this unit he's the one whose mandate is to deal with everything that has to do with animal animal plant life animal plant life health so each and every person has their clear-cut mandate and nobody's stepping over and nobody's stepping over the other person's uh, um, what do you call this nobody's stepping over the other person's toes the issues the issues would only arise when decision make when decisions have to be made in that call because every person has his mandate but everyone would want to would wanna have a situation whereby they make decisions. The best thing would be if everybody is allowed to give their input from the three siblings. Everyone gives their input and a final decision is made. And decisions are made holistically, like made together. But I know with, with human nature, it's quite difficult because sometimes the uh, input your younger brother or your younger the younger sibling or the older the second sibling and the older one give a totally different and it usually turns out to a fight and that's where you see certain families become who are very close very long time ago very close uh, grew up together played together suddenly become uh, enemies and a, a, a similar a similar war like Game of Thrones start a uh, thing like Game of Thrones happens. You start seeing them taking each other to court. You start seeing them threatening each other's lives, and ultimately they come down to one decision, and they be like, "Look, let's just sell this farm so we keep the peace within the family," you know, because everybody has now overstepped each other. So it can work if everyone has a clear cut mandate and decision makes and making decisions on how the farm has to be run is done in a democratic uh, method. In particular, everyone has an opinion. Everybody, we vote on the decisions we want, and it's done free and fairly. But we all know that even in a democratic society, not everyone is not everyone is always happy with what decisions are being made. You know, if it's being made today that we make uh, abortions legal in the country that I preside in, Namibia, we could uh, see some people take us to court, and there could be issues with that. So, it, it it can work if people do it as a cooperative. Everybody has his clear his or her clear cutting uh, clear cut mandate and what he or she he or she should bring to the table and when decision when it comes to decision making we all give our various inputs on how we feel or how we feel things need to be done or the cattle or the the, the, the crops or the fruits with the orchard we have on our farm how it needs to be run and managed and what are the future decisions now moving on to the no part it's in agriculture, the, the, what, 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 what is the main focus of this business is the fact that decisions need to be made. And they sometimes need to be made like on a snap of a finger. You bought maybe a very good bull, hundred and something thousand, you and your three siblings spend money on it. And this bull either gets, uh, uh, gets sick or gets injured. Maybe trying to mount other cattle or gets injured through the transporting. Now a decision has to be made. You make a decision of, okay, Let's slaughter this thing because we can't doctor it. It's going to be very difficult to doctor it. But 
your other siblings like why do you make that brush decision you've already made the decision maybe you've slaughtered it already and you've cut it into meat and taken the the skin and sold it and all and you sold the meat and then your sibling hears about it your two siblings hear about it like wait who gave you the mandate and the right i mean who gave you the right to slaughter that animal we could have doctored it we could have doctored it we could have paid for surgery so it's it's, it's his leg recovers and it could have recovered and be you know, performed well. We just made a, a loss of a hundred thousand, a hundred and uh, one point three thousand. I mean, sorry, um, one hundred. We've made a loss of a uh, hundred thousand here, and you just made the de this decision like that. We all have to have an opinion, and that leads sometimes now to friction, disagreements. Maybe the other two siblings feel disheartened, and you slaughtered this animal. They felt maybe it could have been operated and uh, could have survived but you took the decision of slaughtering it. And then the second point is, now you've sa slaughtered the animal, the money you received, and uh, you shared the money equally amongst you, but they feel like, nah, you robbed them. You know, you took, you took a bigger piece and they got nothing. So they wanna know how much you made and they made a loss. So it's all these little frictions that sometimes lead to agricultural cooperatives, particularly family cooperatives failing, you know? Even if you look at business cooperatives, not even with family, sometimes even with friends or with just business associates, you see that the things collapse because we overstep our boundaries. We have disagreements as human beings. We have disagreements. Someone will always feel like he or she is is is, is being robbed here. You know, uh, he or she is being robbed, or his he or she's uh, time and effort and expertise and 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 and, 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 and energy he's putting in this uh, cooperative is not being really properly paid back so those hard feelings will always be there as much as we say no hard feelings they'll always be there so if you ask me can a farming cooperative between family friends or just random strangers work it can if everybody has clear-cut decisions on what they're gonna do if everybody has input in the decisions that are gonna be made on the farm not just one person saying we're killing 10 cows and that's the decision we're selling 10 stories it needs to be done in such a way that we all have an opinion but it needs to be done fairly. And the problem of using that word 